I love this fight, Teddy. He should be a minimum of a minus 150 favorite. And that's if I'm being generous. If that's just if I'm saying a fair line, what the books should put out there to balance risk. If we're talking about a true line, then we need to bump that up a little bit more on the Curtis Blade side. I'm usually never a guy that talks styles because to me, it's all about finding inefficiencies in the betting market. But here, everything adds up, meaning strength of schedule, it's not even close. If Blades wasn't coming off a knockout loss, he'd be closer to a 150 favorite, like I said. We already know he's beaten the current champ, so we know what he's capable of. He's fought all the top guys at heavyweight, and more importantly, getting back to styles. For Almeida to win this fight, we know what he does. It's no secret. He only spends about 11% of his minutes, less than that, striking from a distance. So he wants to close distance. He wants to get a hold of you. That's where he's strongest. He wants to take you down, and he wants to control you. Unfortunately, we have a long history of Curtis Blades. I think he's got 15-plus UFC fights. In all those minutes, and he's not a knockout artist, in all those minutes, he's only been controlled for 2% of the times he's been in the octagon. He's one of the best wrestlers ever to cross over to mixed martial arts. If, if, if and I expect Almeida to have trouble getting a takedown, Blades win this fight. Just avoid one big shot early, because that's all maybe Almeida has as far as striking goes and Blades wins this fight convincingly. I love Blades, it's a 4% play for me. I don't go to fives because I don't want people to, to get crazy and make the mistakes. So as, as I explained in the steam room, four is enough unless we really need to step out a little more. But I love Curtis, Curtis Blades, I think it's a great spot. Recency bias, everything adds up, Teddy. It's one of those spots where we have a lot of things working for us, the market, the recency, the matchup, the styles. It just all makes sense for a nice win at minus 110 or better. So is it really like, because you're talking about a scenario where you're seeing a fighter that's an underdog right now that you think should be priced one, minus 150, which we don't see every day. Yeah. Is, the yep. line, <laughs> is the line wrong in your opinion because of the fact that your boy got knocked out in his last fight? Or is there something else that the broader markets are seeing that you don't agree with? Great, 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 great question. If, if, if Curtis Blades wasn't as good of a position as it is, meaning if sharp betters didn't agree with me, Almeida would be about a 130, 140 favorite right now. And we'd be getting a much better price on Blades because ticket count comes Saturday night. It's going to be closer to about five or six to one in favor of Almeida. And the reason's simple. He hasn't lost a single UFC fight since he won in the Contender Series in 2021. So since 2022, he's won six straight fights. Three of his last four, he's won performance bonuses in. The difference is who he's stepping up against and the style of this opponent. That's the, that's the reasoning. But yeah. the, the perception and the market is that Blades is the gatekeeper, Almeida gets the win, and he gets launched into start talking about number one contender in title shot. That's exactly what this fight represents, and I just think it's too much too soon for Almeida, who we saw Derek Lewis, of all people, go five rounds with him. Derek yeah. Lewis lasted five rounds after suffering six takedowns. So if Almeida couldn't finish Lewis after taking him down six times, Good luck doing that to Blades. Blades wins this fight convincingly in uh, probably less than three rounds, but it really won't matter. If it goes to a decision, it's definitely his fight, uh, but I think he could get the finish. I don't think Almeida's going to have the cardio to go three rounds with uh, Blades. Even though he did go five with Derek Lewis, Blades will be a different fighter.